now we have a means of outputting DMX to our rig, be it by USB DMX box or streaming across the network via our net, we can now begin to patch our fixtures into Artist. Before we begin, it's important to understand a few terms that Artist uses. In this tutorial, we're going to be using templates, fixtures and groups. A template contains all of the information about a light, including channel allocations, colours, gobos, movement types and special functions. Templates are stored in a templates file, which can usually be found in Documents, My Workspaces, Templates. Artist has a default showcad.tem file, which contains hundreds of pre-designed templates covering a wide variety of popular products and manufacturers. It is also possible to create your own custom templates for anything that isn't available in the default template file, but we will cover that in a future tutorial. We then create an instance of this template within Artist, patching it to a virtual DMX line and giving it an address. This instance is called a fixture. Once we have patched our fixture, the template is no longer required as the fixture is saved directly into our workspace. This allows us to load different template files without upsetting any fixtures we currently have patched. When we come to program, we use the fixtures we have patched as a means of communicating with our lights from Artist. If we have more than one related identical fixture, we can arrange them into a group. This allows us to control them as a single entity as well as apply chasing effects to the different attributes collectively. Don't worry if this all sounds a bit complicated, it should become much clearer as we create our first fixtures. To start, we will patch a very simple lighting rig consisting of four parkans. By clicking on Wizards, and selecting Fixture Wizard, we are presented with this box. Artist 3 has three different types of fixture. A complex fixture is one which uses one or more DMX channels to control dimmers or attributes on standard intelligent lighting or conventionals. Pixel arrays are used when a large matrix of single colour or colour mixing lights are arranged such that you wish to display patterns or shapes across the grid. Setting up and programming pixel arrays is quite a complex topic and will be covered in its own tutorials. Finally, 3D Pixel Block allows you to create 3D LED grids using products like Pixel Sticks. This is a very specialist application for Artist3 and won't be covered in this series. However, Showcat support will be more than happy to advise if you have an application that requires this functionality. We're going to click on Complex. If you do not already have a template file loaded, you will now be prompted to select a template file. For this example, I already have the showcad.tem loaded. The first step in the wizard is to name our fixture group. I'm going to call this stage pars. We then click next. We're now asked to choose a template to be used to create the fixtures from. As a parkan is just a single dimmer channel on a pack, we can use a non-manufacturer specific simple type template. Expand simple types and select parkan. If we expand parkan, we can see the fixture has just one attribute, a dimmer. Click next. We now set how many fixtures we wish to install in this group. I'll change this to four. Below in this drop down, we select the virtual universe we wish to patch our fixtures to. And then here we set the address of the first fixture. Set padding allows us to leave a number of empty channels between our fixtures. This will become more useful later when we begin patching fixtures across multiple groups, a trick that is particularly useful for multi-cell RGB patterns. Fixture name allows us to give our fixtures a specific name within the group. Auto numbering can be achieved by placing a hash one in the name. We can then set a view for the fixtures. Views allow us to have multiple fixture groups visible on the same screen on the fixture tab. For now, we'll leave it as dedicated view, meaning this fixture group will only ever be displayed on its own. The fixture group personality is for future functions of Artist3. However, I still set it to the closest matching description, so in this case, I'll set it to band stage. Click next. 
confirm all the details are correct and click end. A dialog now asks us how we would like to line our fixtures up. For this example, a grid of four columns by one row is fine, but generally I have the column and row spacing of two, so the fixtures are spaced nicely and names can easily be read. The four black squares that have appeared at the top of our screen are our park ends. If we want to visually rearrange them on the screen, we can by unticking the position lock checkbox. Clicking and holding the left mouse button down, we can drag the fixtures around the grid. Once we have them arranged how we want them, we can click on the position lock checkbox again to lock them in place on the grid. If we now click the fixtures tab on the navigator and expand stage paths, we can see our four park ends. If we wish to add more park ends to our group, we simply right click on the grid and select add fixtures. Confirm that we are adding fixtures to the stage par group and click next. Select one of the fixtures to act as a template to use for the new fixtures and click next. Select the number of new fixtures you wish to add to the group, we'll add another four. Select the virtual DMX line and the first new fixtures start address and any padding settings you require. These don't necessarily need to be consecutive with your original fixtures. They can be on different universes or at widely different addresses. If we now set the name to Parkan hash 5, it will auto number the new fixtures starting with the number 5. Click next, confirm the details and click end. The lineup dialog appears again allowing us to arrange our lights. This time we'll put them in two rows of four columns with a spacing of two. And now we have eight park ends in our fixture group. In the next tutorial we'll program our park ends into some cues. Thank <laughs> you.